Wagwan Sakafet, what's good Does Nation, what's good YouTube family man, welcome back to another video. Now this video has been heavily requested by a lot of people here on the channel, alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my sea moss gel from start to finish. Now, with that being said man, depending upon what time you are watching this video, right now we are in a bit of a, you know, an epidemic, right, a pandemic. And, and a lot of people are concerned about their health. But what's interesting to me is that everybody is focusing on the external, hand sanitizer, you know, social distancing. People are hoarding toilet paper as if that's gonna do anything. People are hoarding water, all that stuff. But you know what I mean? Not a lot of people are actually focusing on the internal as in taking care of thyself, taking care of your immune system, making sure that your immune system is functioning properly. Okay, and so, this is why I like to make these types of videos to help you guys, you know, keep your insides strong. So with that being said, man, let's get started with the video. So this is a, a very intricate process, right? Get some lighting again. Everybody makes their CMOS different, right? And so you can go on YouTube and see how other people make it. This is how I personally make it. So what I like to do first, let me show you guys what I got. So this is the CMOS that I have. This is actually from Jamaica. And so, what I like to do, this is my little bowl right here, or key vet, right? As we sit in Haiti, this is my little bowl. I'm gonna fill this up with some water and I'm actually gonna soak the sea moss for about three to four hours. Now, as I'm soaking it, it's gonna expand and get, you know, gelatinous because this is a, this is a mucilaginous herb as I talked about in my lecture. And so this is actually gonna expand to about two or three times the size right here in the bag. So boom, this is my water. You can choose to use uh, fresh alkaline spring water, purified water, whatever water that you want to use. And so now I'm gonna just take the sea moss out. This is how it looks. And I'm gonna just put it inside the water. And boom, I'm gonna drop it in there. And I'm gonna let that soak. But now there's one more step. So this is what I personally like to do. Not everybody does this. I know that some people boil it. I personally don't boil it because I feel like that's going to take out all of the vitamins and minerals and all that stuff. So this is what I do next personally. So I take a lemon and I use this just to pretty much cleanse and purify the water further. Now again, as I said, this is what I personally do. I find that it gives it a bit of a better taste. You don't got to do it though, but that's just what I do. So boom, I drop it in there with the sea moss. And cut up one more. And that's how we rock them with it. Okay, so now, as I said, this is actually gonna expand to about two to three times the size that it is right now. Um, and as it gains water, it's gonna be more of a gelatinous texture. And so, I'm gonna let this sit here for about three to four hours and then I'll see you guys then. All right, family, so it's been about four hours and I'm about to show you right here how, just how much the sea moss has expanded in size. It's crazy. So I, I only had 56 grams, but when you actually uh, put it in water, I think it triples in size. So, so this is it right here. This is the sea moss hydrated and as you can see this is a lot you know what i'm saying so i'm probably gonna have to um blend it in three different portions and make the gel as i said before i put the citrus inside of the water to just kind of you know like purify the water a little bit and all that man but let's get into it and also i said that this is a mucilaginous herb make sure to check out my herbs one-on-one -on -one lecture that's free on my channel as well all right, so you about to strain it. So let's strain it. And I'm gonna just rinse it off again. All right, bet. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna section this off and start blending it. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna put about a handful inside of the blender. Not too much because if you put too much, it can actually uh, slow down the blade. So I'm gonna add some spring water to it. Just a little bit, not too much to where 
it's gonna be a smoothie, but just enough to where it's gonna be like a gel. And then I'm not sure um, what blenders don't blend it, but for the most part, if you do have a standard standard blender, then it should work well. But preferably, I would like to use either a Ninja or something stronger than that, like a Vitamix. So when you're done blending it, it's gonna um, turn into like a paste or gel as you can see right here. Now, for me, the way that I like to store it is in a mason jar, which you can use anything that you want, like a, a top, bowl, whatever, doesn't matter. So this is just my first batch that I'm making. I still got like two and a half more handfuls left, but I'm gonna show you guys how to store it real quick. So pour it in there. Boom. Now this particular batch of CMOS that I have, it's actually different colors. So half of it is purple, some of it is gold. So it's a very unique color. Some do turn purple, some are gold, white, green, whatever. So I'm gonna put that second handful in there. Not too much. All right, boom. And it's the same process right here. Got some water. And again, as you can see, man, this is the consistency that we got. It's a gel, gelatinous type consistency. Now, I know that some people like it to be like a, a bit more like runny, but, but honestly, man, like it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, man, th this is how it should look. All right, family, so this is the final result of Jamaican Seamars gel. This is how, how it's gonna look when it's done. Gel type consistency or a paste almost, I guess you could say, right? And so the good thing about this is that this lasts in the fridge for up to two to three weeks, I believe. And so this right here should definitely be enough for me for about two and a half weeks. And so a lot of you guys have been asking me, one, how do I make this? But more specifically, what are some of the benefits? So as always, man, I had to write some notes down for you guys and tell you guys what are some of the benefits of consuming sea moss. So as I said earlier in this video, this herb is classified as a mucilaginous herb. So what that means is that it's gonna actually aid in ridding the body of mucus. So other herbs in this category is like okra. Anything that's slimy has an organ affinity to actually ridding the body of mucus. Also, this is a natural aphrodisiac for both men and women. This is actually going to boost your sex drive, your overall libido. Also, much like ashwagandha, this is a mood enhancer. So it's an antidepressant. It actually reduces cortisol levels in the body. So that's very great. Now, in terms of like, you know, for your bone health, this is actually uh, has more iron than beef and it's good for your overall bone density. And for women that are over 45 years old, they're more susceptible to having osteoporosis. So this is good for both men and women and having strong bone density. Also good at repairing tissue in the body, cartilage, right? So cartilage doesn't get a lot of blood flow such as our musculoskeletal system. How do you say that word? Musculoskeletal system. This is actually gonna aid in repairing tissue all over your body. So I already talked about sexual health, all that stuff. Um, I didn't talk about testosterone. It boosts testosterone as well. It aids in weight loss. Now, it actually has 90% of the essential minerals that make up the human body. It also relieves anemia, okay? So for people that are anemic, this will be a great supplement to incorporate into your diet. I already talked about how it improves joint health and how it speeds recovery in terms of being injured. So when I actually hurt my shoulder about five months ago, I started doing more research on CMOS because of its ability to repair tissue. Much like ashwagandha, it is gonna support and promote a healthy thyroid. So if you ha are having trouble or issues with your thyroid, you might wanna consume CMOS, all right? As well as digestive health, all right? Now, because this is a mucilaginous herb, it's gonna help pass everything through your digestive tract. And if you are somebody that is constipated or just, you know, are, are lacking flow through your stomach, this is actually gonna aid in cleansing the colon. So that's very important especially for a lot of people that are eating processed foods and they get backed up you definitely want to be rocking with the sea moss all right but family that's it for this video i wanted to show you guys how i personally make 
my Jamaican or wildcrafted sea moss. If you got value out of this video, make sure to share this with a family member or friend so they can keep getting this dope content. Make sure to smash that like button as always. And if you haven't already subscribed, man, don't just subscribe, but smash that notification bell and hit all so you get notified when I upload every single video. As always, family, peace, love, and light. Stay blessed.